every nanosecond, a molecule of wax is bursting into flame and disappearing. So it's a series of bursting. So which is the real flame? Our lives are like that. From the time we are born until now, we are nothing but energies that are arising and falling, rising and falling. So we are dying every moment and being reborn every moment. The final death in the hospital is only a final thing. But death is, death is not real. We are not real. That is to remind you every day, okay? And it works a lot. You look at that and you go to the office and you see your boss and you can't stand him. It's okay, he's not real. So <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, then, flowers, exactly the same thing. These flowers are so beautiful. Yeah. What happens to them tomorrow? And in reality, it looks so substantial. But is it real? Yeah. It's all within a day or two when it dries up, where is the substance? A little bit is left. How fast it will decay. So when I offer these flowers, I am reminded of my own impermanence. My beauty will not last forever. My beauty has gone long ago. <laughs> Your beauty will not last forever. Okay. Right. And then, uh, water. Very important. Buddhists believe that our mind, that's the most important part of us, our mind is essentially pure. Unlike other religions that say that we are sinners, Buddhists say, no, we are all, we all have the Buddha nature. We are all potential Buddhas. Yeah? And our mind is pure. But we allow this pure mind to be corrupted. We, al we allow it to have anger, hatred, greed, and jealousy. So every morning, I tell myself, I must conduct myself in such a way that my mind is as pure as this water. If I take this same glass of water, leave it in the sun for 10 days, little green things come about. When your mind is not attended to anger, hatred, greed, jealousy, over the years, you get habits of this kind of habits. You are alerting yourself. I must rid myself of my anger. Rid. Who does it? Not the Buddha. I do it. This is to remind me. So when we have this, and then finally, of course, the incense. Same thing. Incense is just smoke. There is no reality to it like your life. The scent is not real. Okay? So these things remind me of what it is all about. Then you say, yeah, first you take refuge in the Buddha. You take refuge. What does take refuge mean? I don't go and hide under the Buddha's thing. What it means is, when I study how the Buddha taught me to live, my happiness, my protection, I protect everybody around me by taking refuge in the Buddha. The Dhamma is his teaching, yeah? and the Sangha. When I, when I go to them and I conduct my daily life according to that, I not only protect myself, I protect everybody around me. Okay? And so uh, the, there is a beautiful Mahayana image of you as a Buddhist. The Mahayana, they call it Indra's net. They ask you to visualize yeah, the entire cosmos, the world with all its billions of stars. Yeah? And in the same way, all of that is a net. The whole cosmos is one huge net. All right? And how is a net made? With knots. Each knot has one diamond. Imagine that each knot has one diamond. Imagine that each diamond is one life, one sentient being. 
an ant, a mosquito, a cow, a frog, a person, whatever. Alright? What does a diamond do? A diamond spreads its light. You are one such diamond. You 